guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Katie I'm so glad you guys are here today and I'm super excited for this today if you guys have been with my channel for a while you know I love Dollar Tree they have some really good deals super cute stuff I've done multiple videos on me going to Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree hauls especially for like their seasonal things. I just love it. And you cannot beat the price. Everything is a dollar. So I was super excited when my friend Brittany over on Brittany's Beautiful Chaos, that's the name of her channel. She did a super fun Dollar Tree pink challenge and she tagged me in it. So I'm going to go do the challenge today. I'm going to bring you guys along and then I will show you uh, what I found. So here's the challenge. You have to buy 10 things that are pink at Dollar Tree. So I have my $10 bill and I want to find things that like I'm actually going to use because obviously I don't just want to go in there and waste $10. So I want to find things that I'm actually going to use that I actually want. I think it's going to be pretty easy because you guys know I have two little girls. We love pink at our house. We have lots of pink at our house. Pink also happens to be my favorite color. Uh, so I don't think it'll be too hard to find 10 things that I want um, and will actually use. So let's go see what I can find at Dollar Tree and let's do the pink challenge. <laughs> okay guys, I am done at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show you what I got, the 10 things that are pink. I'm gonna film this in my car. I know it's not like the best lighting and we got car seats and everything, but my husband is at home with kids and they're just loud and crazy. It's like impossible for me to film a haul while they're awake. And I don't wanna wait until tonight to, fit, to film the haul because I wanna have this video up in the morning for you guys. So bear with me with the car <laughs> filming. I know it's not the best, but that's okay. It's real life over here. Okay. First thing that I found, this I'm counting this as pink because even though the box is red, the actual product is pink. So these are Brillo pads and there's eight of them. So these are like steel wool soap pads. And so they're really good for like um, your pots and pans and stuff. I have been wanting to get some of these and try them because one of my favorite uh, like frying pans that I do pretty much anything like I do ground beef in there chicken grilled cheese eggs all that stuff like the bottom of it even though it's clean it's like gotten I don't know rusted you know so I wanted to get some of these and try to see if I can get some of that off so I thought that was pretty good eight of these for a dollar so that was the first thing that I got that was pink the next thing, this is for the kids, and I think that they are really going to love these. These are Italian ice, um, what do you call these? Like tubes, and you freeze them. So it's like, uh, why do I not know what this is called, you guys? Help me out here. This just says Italian ice, but freeze pops. Freeze pops, that's what I meant. I could not think of the word. These are like freeze pops, okay? We used to get these all the time, like when we were little growing up, you know, this was a summer staple. So I have not bought any this summer yet. So I saw these and they were pink and it has four different flavors, berry, lemonade, cherry, blue raspberry, and strawberry. So I'm gonna pop these in the freezer and I think that the kids are really going to love these ones. Okay, next item. These are some little fragrance um, satchels, I guess you call it, satchet, whatever. Um, it comes with two in the package and they smell like flowers. They just smell good and fresh. And I wanted some of these to put in our, um, our closet in our room. It's a small closet, but like you can walk into it a little bit. It's not super tiny, but it's not like massive either. But in the summer, because we don't have like central air, um, we keep that closet door shut and it just gets like really stuffy in there. And I don't know, it just smells like stale. <laughs> so every time I walk into there, I'm just like, ugh, like I want it to smell nicer. So I'm gonna stick one of these in there and see if that helps with like it not smelling so, I don't know, just stale and muggy, I guess. All right, the next thing, this is for my little Ellie. Um, for those of you that don't know, 
I don't know how much I've talked about this. We are leaving next week to go on vacation. We are going to Denver, Colorado. My brother and sister-in-law live there and they've lived there for several years now. I can't remember if it's like four, three, four, five, somewhere in there. And we have not been out there to see them yet. And we've wanted to, but it just hasn't worked out. And then COVID. So finally, now that all of that is over, we are all doing like a family vacation together. We're going to go out there, see them, see their house for a couple days. And then we're going to go up to the mountains. Um, and my parents rented an Airbnb like in the mountains. So we'll be staying up there and um, it's going to be super fun. My grandma that you guys got to meet, you know, when we went on our trip to South Carolina, she's coming from South Carolina. So it's just going to be really fun. We're going to go get to see and do a lot of stuff. And of course, I'm going to be vlogging the whole time. So I'll be taking you guys with me. But I say all of that to say we're going to be going on a very long plane trip with the kids to, uh, to Colorado. And we have not flown with all three of the kids ever. And the last time we flew um, with two of them, with Emery and Lawson, Lawson was a baby and he's about to turn five. So it's been a long time. I did fly in 2019 with Elliot a few times when she was a baby. Um, I flew to Chicago twice uh, when my grandmother was sick and then she passed away. We went for the funeral. Um, so I did do that with Elliot when she was a baby, but this is the first time with all three of them. So I'm a little nervous because it's kind of a long flight, but you know, just praying that it all goes well. So anyways, let's get back to the haul. So I told you that whole story <laughs> to say that I found this next item for Ellie and I was thinking that I'll hold on to it and break this out on the plane if she starts to get antsy or whatever. Um, I like, just like when we did our long road trip in the car, I like to have little things that whenever somebody is losing it, <laughs> about to have a breakdown, I can like whip something out that will distract them and, you know, just keep them happy and content for a little while longer. <laughs> so I found this cute little like plastic pocketbook and it has some little hair clips and a brush and a comb inside of it. And she loves like, she really loves to like open stuff, put stuff in and then close it. Like she plays with backpacks and pocketbooks and stuff all the time. So for a dollar, I figured that I'll get this and save it for our um, flight. And of course it was pink. So that is my third, fourth, fourth pink thing. Moving on to the next one. Okay. Any 90s babies that are watching this, please comment down below if you owned at least one thing that was Lisa Frank. Probably you owned more than one thing that was Lisa Frank. I think I had, I had it all. <laughs> but anyways, apparently Lisa Frank is still around because look at this. I found this um, booklet of 600 stickers. And doesn't that just bring you back to your childhood in the 90s? Like, Lisa Frank was everything, you know? You had to have the backpack. You had to have the notebooks and the pencils. And <laughs> it's just so fun. So, it just has tons of stickers. And again, I was thinking I'll save this for the flight. And I will bring a notebook with just, like, plain paper. And um, Elliot might like to do this. Or Emmy will probably like just putting stickers on paper, you know? Something to do while we're sitting there on the flight. The next thing is also for the flight um this is i'm thinking this is more like for emory's age it's a disney princess sticker thing but it comes with these three scenes so it has like a ballroom um a castle uh outdoor whatever and then it comes with all the princess stickers and you can you know create your own scene i think the stickers are like reusable you know you can peel them off and they won't rip so I figured she would like doing that on the plane and I'm counting that as um, a pink thing. So that is number one, two, three, four, five, six. This is number six. <laughs> okay, here we go with number seven. Look at how cute this bottle is. This is tea. It's razzleberry flavored tea. Um, and this is a huge can, like it's as big as my head. <laughs> so I, I'm not like real adventurous on the flavors and y'all have heard me say before, like I'm not a huge 
tutti frutti um, person. Like it kind of depends on the thing. So this is not for me. This is for Logan, for my hubby. He loves everything tutti frutti flavor. He likes to try weird flavors and he loves um, drinks like this. So I bought this for him and it'll be a little surprise. Anytime I go like shopping or whatever, um, and you know, he's watching the kids. I try to bring him back like what I call little prize. Like gifts is one of my love languages. So I, I don't know. I guess it's just like my way of telling him like I was thinking of you and thanks for letting me get out of the house kid free. So I always like to bring him back a little prize and he's always like super appreciative. So that is number seven. That's for him. All right. Number eight. I bought these little sticky note flag things and I'm counting this because it has bright neon pink as the first one. So, you know, we can count this as a pink thing. But I thought that these would be super good for like all of my homeschool, my teacher curriculum books. Like sometimes I like to mark certain pages because um, it's a big, huge, fat book that's like the actual teacher guide, the manual. And if I like to be able to flip to certain sections easily, I was using just like regular post-it notes, but these I think will be much more efficient and cute um, and not as junky looking. <laughs> So I was excited to find those. So that is number eight. This is number nine. I thought that these were so pretty. These are prayer cards. So this has 20 cards that have inspirational prayer and scripture on them. And I love the kind of pastel design. But again, I'm counting this as pink since it has a lot of pink on it. And let's just open this up and look at one. I, I just thought that these were really pretty. So the front says today's prayer and then the back has um, a prayer on it. So I don't know where I'll put this, maybe like on my vanity um, where I get ready in the morning or somewhere where I can see um, and just read like a scripture for the day. I just like that idea of trying to fill my, my home and my life with prayer and scripture. So that is number nine. Okay, that brings us to our last one. Number 10, last one. I'm super excited about this. I was really hoping that my Dollar Tree would have this because I have seen several of my fellow YouTube friends um, that have purchased this and have done like reviews or talked about it. Um, and it is this LA totally awesome all purpose cleaner, degreaser and spot remover. And it is in the scent cherry blossom. And look at how pretty this is, pink. I love this. And this bottle, you guys, is humongous. Like it's bigger than my head. It's huge and it's heavy. It's 32 um, fluid ounces. So that is gonna last like forever for a dollar. Like that's really good. And my friends that have bought this and used it have like compared it to the method cleaner. It kind of, the I think that's like a method dupe, you know, the bottle even looks like a method cleaner. So I'm really excited to try this and actually let's smell it because I want to cherry blossom. The only thing I'm thinking is like, you know, that classic Bath and Body Works Japanese cherry blossom scent. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but ooh, yeah. It does kind of smell like the Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works, but it also has like a hint of, I don't know, more floral maybe. A little bit more floral than that. It smells good. It smells really clean. So I'm excited to use that. And yeah, for a dollar, I mean, I'm going to use this maybe in one of my future videos and do like a little mini review just to let you guys know what I think of it as far as like the cleaning power. But for a dollar for this humongous bottle, that is really good, I think. Okay, so that is it for the $10 pink Dollar Tree challenge. That was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing, you know, what I could find. I think it was a little bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was like going down every aisle scanning for pink things, but I'm pretty happy with the things that I found. These are all things that I will use and, um, you know, it wasn't like a waste of money. So if you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you subscribe and become a part of my YouTube family. You guys are awesome. I'm not going to tag anybody specifically, but if you want to do this challenge, let me know in the comments that you're going to do it. I would love to watch your videos and see if you guys find different pink things. It was really fun. So if you want to do this video, go for it. And then let me know that you did it, of course, because I want to watch. So this was really fun. You guys know I love Dollar Tree. 
So that is going to be it. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye. Don't wanna be shy.